Hi, this is Princess Snail, and welcome back to another Life Gen video. So, we are back with Soulpool, who has apparently had a very strange dream, which is very interesting. Maybe it is a dream of an eclipse, perhaps? <laughs> but we're just going to continue with him. I think we are able to time skip one moon. Hopefully, he'll actually become an uh, a warrior very soon, which would be very exciting. Uh, let's see, a lot seems to have happened. Ceremonies? Oh, cool. So, uh, Yupor has become a warrior, and Heatherpaw has become an apprentice. Very nice. So, all events. Let's see if there's... Yeah, it looks like if we have some unique events going on. So, so if all four clans are gathering, is awe-inspiring. Their combined voices echo under the vast sky. You accidentally sleep in and miss the dawn patrol that you were assigned to. Your mentor isn't too happy, but you promise to set a mental alarm for the future. During training, you trip over a tree root and roll down a hill. Dizzy and covered in mud and leaves, you stand up and see the rest of your patrol racing down the hill. Half of them are smothering giggles, much to your annoyance, but they ask if you are okay. Ah, he's trying his best. Oh no, that's... Oof, that's not good. Anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's anything else happening. Um, Bucket and Scorch, you tried to... Okay. Um, let's go ahead and see our relationships. Soulpool thinks Conifer Paul's nice and today. Oh yeah, they, he was really getting along with Conifer Paul, wasn't he? And he's like the same age as us, so that's really convenient too. Let's talk to them. Soulpool, I'm sorry, I'm going to search for some water mint for my mentor. I'm in a bit of a rush. Huh? You want to come with me? You can do. Of course. If you're not needed here, it would be nice to have the extra paws. You know, I love going out looking for herbs. It's so quiet out here. It's so alive, yet so still. It's nice to get out of the stress of camp and just breathe, you know? Helps keep the soul light. I love my duties. I love being a medicine cat apprentice. I'm looking forward to the day where I get to press my nose to the moonstone and get my medicine cat name. The camp's always a bit much. I didn't think I'd need to interact with cats so much, but I hope that isn't a path you can walk in the clan where you can- I suppose there isn't a path you can walk in the clan where you can avoid cats. I suppose that's the point of living together. Even though not all of us are related, we're kin under Eclipse Clan. We've all got a path to walk. Oh, I think I see some watermen over there. We should get going, or we'll be out all day. That is such a cute conversation. That was a lovely conversation of- conversation of Connor for Paul. Okay. Pale Star reminds Soulpool to grab something from the fresh kill pile. Oh, f yeah, because we were actually meant to talk to Pale Star for like ages and ages and ages, and they're feeling silly. Uh, we were meant to talk to them for absolutely forever, but they kept being busy, so let's talk to them. I found the super cool cave network just outside the territory. Want to come explore it with me later? What was I doing outside the territory? Sh do you seriously explain me to spend my entire life on Eclipse Clan territory? Well, you are the leader. Um. I can't be or not. So, okay, so first I want to spend some time with Soulpool, which is interesting. Uh, Yellow Ash bristles after being scolded by Soulpool. Soulpool, you scolded an elder? Okay, well, let's insult them then. Oh, playful jab, huh? Good thing warriors are tough. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and then Yellow Ash reaches Soulpool. I was thinking that was more that. Okay, so we can also talk to them just regularly. Yellow Ash is running around the clearing, their pelt ruffled and dishevelled, as they try to complete many different tasks at once. Soulpool, what's up? Do you need something too? I'd be happy to do it for you. Working too hard? I'm not working too hard, don't worry. In fact, helping around camp is how I relax. Yep, definitely relaxing. Definitely. <laughs> they seem nice. Okay. I still can't get over how all these cats are just grey. Like, almost all the cats are grey, and it's... Can't lie, a little bit boring, but it does make Soulpool really stand out, which I think is cool because it does make sense because he definitely seems to stand out. He's like, I haven't read all the books, but I have read. Uh, I I finished. So I read Into the Wild. I've read. I've just finished reading Fire and Ice, and right now I'm reading the third one. I I don't remember the name, but I've started reading that one. Um, and I have read Eclipse. Eclipse was the first one I read because I I love Soul and I really wanted to read that one. And Sol, actually, from the looks of things, is has the most description out of any cats and worry cats because, like, he's constantly described as like he looks like a lion and how, like, like how y you know what I mean? Like, he's described to be like this like big lion-like cat, and it's very interesting, actually. 
so I guess it almost, in a way it makes sense that he stands out because I think in the sense like with, in the books he stands out as well just from appearance because he's described so much and anyway, let's look to Ivy Paul which Sol seems to have fallen out with but we're gonna talk to her maybe you know maybe okay well I mean, to be fair she's in the medicine cat den since he was hanging out with Conifer Paul makes sense he would have walked past Ivy Paul perhaps my mass brain mentor, always trying to get me to participate more in training and work together with my clanmates. Working together is for the weak. If you want something done right, you have to get it done yourself. Clearly, Sandorn is too stupid to see it, though. I'll show them I can do everything myself, that I don't need anybody. Have you been standing there this whole time? <laughs> oh, goodness, she must have been talking to herself. <laughs> okay, let's um get Sol to go on a patrol. Who's his mentor? All right, Puddle Pelt. Right, let's add Puddle Pelt and Sol Paul. Let's maybe go on a hunting patrol, especially considering the clan needs some food because we do not have nearly enough. So let's go on a patrol. The patrol looks around for something to disguise their scent while hunting. Okay, um, we'll proceed. I mean, Sol did go out of Conferport earlier today looking for herbs, so maybe they could find something. They can't think of anything that would work, but the hunt goes well regardless. Alright, well, at least it goes well. You decide to take some time to perfect your hunting technique. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, proceed. Also, why are the patrol traits strange? I'm gonna have to go check patrol- check, um, Soul's traits. Because, I don't know why he'd have strange. You can't seem to find anywhere to practice your moves that doesn't already have a cap. You can't think about anything with all the warriors trudging around in your space. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, let's see Soul Paul, so... Okay, so he's strange now. Before he was, like, um... Oh, I don't remember what he was before. He's strange? I mean, that makes sense. I guess in a sense he is a strange cat. Like, because he's, um, different to everyone else. Let's see relationships. Um... So... Obviously we've got, a. Uh, Donny Moth, which is our parent. Quite close with Conifer Paul, which is good. Um, surprisingly close to Yellow Ash, the elder. Um, obviously, our other parent, Fringe Puddle. Uh, and not very close with Ivy Paul anymore. Even have a slight dislike. That's interesting. Okay, well, let's maybe talk to our parents. Uh, where are they? Fringe Puddle? Okay. Oh, Morning Soul Paul. Sorry, I've been very busy. Bumble Clan have been upset recently about borders, something about them having moved. Yeah, I know, it's ridiculous. We'd never do something like that. A war isn't what we need right now. I've got to get back to it. Thank you for listening, Soul Paul. Well, you're welcome, I guess. <laughs> okay, and let's talk to uh, Doni Moth, who is our other parent. Have we not got a filter by age? I didn't, okay. Now it's filtered by age. Now it should be easier to find everyone. Doni Moth anxiously scans the sky for hawks, fur bristling. You're pretty sure that they're trying to talk to them in this. Uh, you're pretty sure that trying to talk to them in this state would give them a heart attack or worse. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> there is so. Wait. Oh, <gasps> Soul has become a warrior. Soul branch. Okay. Okay. So the clan assembles around the great rock. You lock eyes of pale star as they ascend. Their silhouette a stark contrast against the stone. The whispering of the wind through the leaves mimics the silence that sweeps across the assembled cats. As your name echoes through the clearing, you step forward, your fur prickling with anticipation. Your leader gently presses their nose to your forehead. With admiration for your swiftness, you are given your new name, Soul Branch. Okay, that's fun. Okay, ceremonies. So, <gasps> Ivy Paw is also a warrior now. She's now called Ivy Feather. All right. Um... Grey Kit has become Grey Paul. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. So, Soul Branch goes to Storm Ivy to ask for their wisdom. So let's talk to Soul Ivy, I guess. Ah, hello, Soul Branch. Storm Ivy, a cat who usually pulls off such harmless antics, stares at you, f though, as though you had just witnessed them commit the ultimate atrocity. You notice the slight mess dripping from their jaw. So, uh, how are you? Have you uh, eaten well? No? Did I? Eat the last of the fresh kill. <laughs> of course not. Why would a tiny goofy cat like me ever do that? If you really think I ate the last piece, you must think I'm some kind of monster. Okay, fine. I'm a terrible liar. I ate the last piece. Please don't tell anyone. I was starving and I couldn't help myself. Please don't hate. Oh, wait. You aren't mad? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and then Fallen Fleck is stuttering while speaking to Soul Ranch. Okay, let's just talk to them. Hi, Soul Ranch. I thought I had someone talking about me earlier. Was it you? Did I do something wrong? 
No, it's fine. Also, sorry that I'm like struggling more than usual to read. I don't know why I chose this game specifically to play, as if there isn't a lot of reading in it. I have an eye infection at the moment, um, so I can't see very well out of one of my eyes, because um, I just I'm I'm very sickly. I get ill often, and I get I have loads of uh, medical problems. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, everything's a bit blurry for me more than usual. <laughs> um, so yeah, sorry that I'm very uh, stuttery and um, not doing a very good job at reading everything. I hope it's not annoying or anything, but yeah, that that's why. <laughs> anyway, let's talk to Ivy Feather, who is now a warrior like us, because why not? Um, talk to this cat. Pale Star, what do you think of them? Their leadership style, the choices they've made, would you have done it differently if you were in that position? I'm just curious what you think of who's in charge could reveal a lot about your character. So she's still kind of trying to gauge like how we are as like a as a cat. So that's it's interesting. I don't know what what Ivy Feathers deals with us. She really isn't getting along very well with Soul Floor anymore. Sorry, with Soul Branch anymore. So hmm. And Soul Branch is recently spent the night outside of camp. Okay. Oh, and they're sneaky and a good fighter and Sun High Log. I don't know what that means, but sneaky and a good fighter, that's cool. So maybe Sol would go on lots of like a border patrols, actually. Hmm. Let's talk to a uh, conifer pool. <sighs> good morning, Sol Branch. There's a chilly breeze out in the clan today. Please be careful. I wouldn't want you to get frozen pools or worse. If you're able to try and keep off the snow, it's wonderful, but very cold and wet. Worst combinations in these temperatures. Just keep yourself safe, Sol Branch. Aw, thank you. Let's also actually talk. Let's also actually talk to Conifer Paul's uh, sibling, Barash Paul. Barash Paul is talking with Puddle Pal. Their voice so loud it reverberates off the walls of the camp. For just one cat, they sure managed to take up a lot of space. <laughs> now let's go on a patrol. Oh my goodness, Sol gets to go on like an actual patrol patrol. He's still quite a young warrior, so I can imagine maybe he'd go with someone. So Pale Star seemed to want to spend some time with him. So maybe we'll get Pale Star, Soul Branch. And oh, let's go Ivy Feather and Conifer Pool. Let's just let's just see how that kind of goes. Oh, actually, I forgot because Conifer Pool is a medicine cat. Never mind. So let's just take you know Soul Branch and Ivy Feather because I'm still interested in you know what's going on with them. So let's go on a border patrol. Like I said, I think that would be kind of what Soul's quite good at. And since it's the leader, it kind of makes sense. Go on patrol. The patrol tracks the scent of a large dog wandering along the edge of the clan's territory. Ooh, adventurous, sneaky, and strict. Well, those seem definitely like they would proceed, so let's proceed. The patrol shadows the dog, sending a message back to warn camp. It's an exhausting and stressful day, but by the time night falls, they've confirmed that the dog is leaving the local area, and the patrol has assured Eclipse clan safety. Well, that's good. Oh, look at that! The clan leader assigns you to lead a hunting patrol. Soul's gonna lead a patrol? <gasps> it's your chance to prove your leadership skills and help provide for the clan. Of course you'd proceed. You successfully lead the patrol, coordinating your team to bring down various prey. Your leadership is praised, and the clan appreciates the fresh kill. <gasps> Good job! You did so well. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, you volunteered to help the medicine cat sort herbs. The scent of the den is strong, but the knowledge gained is invaluable. I wonder if that's the spend time of Conifer Paul. Hmm. <laughs> Ceremonies. Oh, Barrage Paul has excelled and become Barrage Lightning. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, a kitty pet joined the clan. All right. And then let's see our relationships. Soul Branch thinks Oat River was nice to them today. I guess so to them. The other day, oh, it's spring now. Oh, sorry, uh, new leaf. <laughs> the other day, by the two-leg place, I saw a two-leg burning their prey. They straight up tossed it in, tossed it into a fire. Horrible, right? I'll never understand them. <laughs> Barbecue. Storm Ivy had a huge argument with Soul Branch. Who's Storm Ivy? She's one of the mediators. That's okay. Well, let's insult them. Maybe one day you'll be worth something to your clan. For a mediator, she's a little mean. <laughs> I guess she is troublesome. Oh goodness. <laughs> Puddle Pelt tells Soul Branch to count on them in a difficult situation. That's nice. Puddle Pelt. Alrighty. Puddle Pelt is the uh, parent, I believe, of uh, Conifer Paw and Barrage Paw. 
Uh, nettle bounce makes soul branches being annoying. Okay, well, let's insult them then. Keep yelling. Maybe one day it'll actually sound intimidating. All right. And then... Soul Branch let Rivershock down while Rivershock was counting on them. Soul, you're not doing a great job, are you? Okay, well, let's, I guess, insult them. What did you just say to me? Soul is not being successful. And why is he annoying all the mediators? And why do we have so many? <laughs> I didn't realize we had so many mediators. Look at the camp. Look at the warrior's den. And there's so many in the clearing. Very cute, though. So many cats. <laughs> Oh, look at that! Ivy Feather! Oh, she's all grown up! Let's talk to her. <sighs> Not now. Okay, okay. What's Soul Branch up to? Wants to speak to Sand Feather about something. Go for it. Where's Sand Feather? Who is Sand Feather? You're Sand Feather. Hi. Talk to this cat. Sand Feather is flexing, showing off their muscles for you, Rush. It almost seems like Sand Feather is enjoying the whole display more than you, Rush is. <laughs> Alright. We have so many mediators, actually. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is so many mediators. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna make some of them not mediators because that's it's a bit too much. Okay, I switched it so we only have two mediators because we do not need like six of them. <laughs> Let's talk to uh Conifer Paul. Oh good morning. It's lovely to see you. I'm fine, it's just well, you must have had a very eventful sleep. We take to shed tongues before you go. Oh, I wouldn't want you walking around looking any less than your best. It's what you deserve, after all. They are so cute. Oh my goodness, I can't. <laughs> Let's talk to their sibling, Barrage Lightning. I met some kitty pets on patrol today. Star Clan, I shall give them a scare. One look at my mean face and they went mewling back home to their two legs. Like little kids running into a nursery. <laughs> Goodness me. Okay, let's go on a uh, patrol. Uh, let's see. So they want to talk to Sand Feather, so maybe they'll go on a patrol with them. I think that makes sense. Let's go on a hunting patrol because we need some more prey. As the patrol is checking the border lines, they hear an odd sound coming from a nearby bush. Charismatic and sneaky, so I think they proceed. Sandfeather drops down into a hunting crouch, certain that a mouse must be source of the sound, source of the noise. They find themselves to be correct when they pounce into the bush and return to the patrol with the tasty morsel dangling from their mouth. Well, that's good. The medicine cat, again, <laughs> runs out of marigold and asks for your help to find some. It's a chance to help the clan and learn more about herbs. I think Sol would proceed. I mean, he'd want to help out Connor for Paul because they are, they're very good friends. So I will definitely proceed. You manage to find a patch of marigold and return it to the medicine cat. They thank you and you feel proud of your contribution. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I think I am going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I post some more videos just like this. So if you enjoyed this one, then I'm sure you enjoy all my other ones as well. And maybe consider leaving a comment. What do you think about Sol and how he is now a warrior? I'd love to know your thoughts and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>